Well, hello. First of all, welcome hello. to the Red Brick Office. Thank you for having me. Um, how are you doing? Very good. good. Very good, yeah. Um, last time I interviewed you, you said that you'd been in Jamaica shooting a video. Yeah. And recently, I see that you've like put out a video yeah. that looks vaguely like it could be in some sunny It was place. Jamaica, was it yeah. Jamaica? That was the so, one. Because last time you couldn't really talk much about it, but now you can fully Do expose you know? what that was like. Yeah, it was amazing. I couldn't talk about it last time because... Basically, I like fucked up the video, and uh, we went out there to shoot for. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah. <laughs> we went out there to shoot for the main single, and uh, basically, like for whatever reason, just didn't get enough footage shot. So I wasn't. I didn't know what I was going to do with the video. Mm. Then when I did this remix, um, I basically used all this like footage that was kind of going to get thrown away, mm. behind the scenes stuff for the one that's just gone out. But yeah, the experience was amazing. Like it's always pretty nuts. Obviously, writing songs in your bedroom and stuff, and yeah. then and two years later, like flying out to Jamaica with a team of people to shoot a video is yeah. pretty surreal. And, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a blessing, really. Anyway. That's pretty cool. Um, so, um, how you, you've been on a tour, haven't you? So, yeah. like, how, how did that go? Which how one? That? Well, the one, the one that went. I've just been to just Scandinavia been, with oh, Leon I, Bridges, which amazing. is wicked. Um, and then you did one in the UK beforehand, didn't you? And the UK, yeah. yeah. The UK one's amazing. Like, when you do a headline tour, it's um, yeah, it's an amazing feeling because I'm so used to like doing festivals and supporting, and you don't always get your audience there mm -hmm. or people there that are there to support you, and um, so it's a lot. Sometimes it'd be a lot more of a struggle, have people chat in over your songs, and you just want to be like, fucking listen, man. <laughs> but um, when you do your headline tour, like the support's nuts because mm -hmm. obviously everyone's there to see you, and yeah. even though there's more pressure, I get more nervous on a headline tour because. If I mess up at a support tour, it doesn't mm. really matter because no one's yeah, fussed about that. seeing me. Whereas if it's like headline show, I get like loads more nervous backstage, I'm yeah. sure. I had to tell you, but, um, oh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's wicked because the audience is usually a lot more up for it. Yeah. Are you playing any festivals this year? Doing Glastonbury, nice. which I'm very excited about. You going? Yeah. Yeah, Glastonbury's going to be sick, man. Very excited about I think about that's that. working there, actually. Well, I remember last time we were speaking, you had your birthday. It was, that was for Giles Peterson's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which was mad. Yeah. That was like my best show, yeah. like festival I've ever done. I turned 21, got to fly out to the south of France mm. and do a show over there, yeah. which was wicked. Amazing. Yeah. Um, a little bit more about the single. You worked, if I'm right, with Philip James, is that right? Um, not that I know of. No, but no. I must have got it wrong. It's cool. Winter James. Winter James, yeah. There you go, yeah. I, Googled and it said Is Philip. Is it Philip? Fucking, so I should know I that. I thought it was Philip. Because I yeah. Googled and I was like, I should know his first name. No, I, I should know, know it. That. No, I should definitely know that. Like, I didn't even know that. Okay, so. well, yeah, Winter James. Winter uh, James, yeah. He's, how um, was that? Yeah, it was sick. I mean, I'd never got to meet him in person and do it um, in the studio with him. It was basically like he remixed the song. Mm. Um, so I've already done the original version of Rye Winning Away. Yeah. And then usually like you would get like a house or drum and bass remix mm -hmm. for people to play in the clubs and stuff. and that kind of teases everyone yeah. before the single comes. But I'm not like that into house music or drum, uh, drum and bass music that much. So uh, I just really want to get like a dub kind of uh, mm. remix of it or reggae remix yeah. or something like that. Because it is very reggae, it sounds, yeah. it sounds great. And then I found him and um, he did an amazing job. So all credit to him yeah. on, on that tune because I didn't really do anything. <laughs> you sang, you did the music, song, you wrote, wrote it. it. But then, you know, he, like, it's his, he was creative with it. I didn't really direct yeah. him too much, you know. He gave it that whole twist, so. It sounds good. Um, so you weren't like looking specifically to sort of mix up your style and make it a bit more reggae or? No, if it's, for him it's just free reign. Yeah. You know, it's like if you go to someone that is predominantly in double reggae, mm. they're not going to give you a house remix no. back, do you know what I mean? They're going to give you like a reggae or dub remix. But I didn't, I, you know, I think when you do a remix, I'm never over that person's shoulder. Because mm. it's like, it's your it's creative thing. thing. Like you do what you want to do with it. That's why I've come to you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if someone came to me and was like, yo, feature on my song and then told me what I couldn't, yeah, couldn't, couldn't sing. Do. I'd be like, fuck off, mate. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, otherwise yeah. don't come to me. Yeah, you need to give them the creative license. Yeah, definitely. Um, so now we're going to play a game. And Sick. I'm going to ask you to put your Spotify on shuffle. This is Right, how do you do that? Uh, this is going to be embarrassing because literally, yeah, <laughs> just before anything embarrassing comes up, I've just like got given a Radio 1 um, extra playlist yeah yeah i've literally just been listening to like the cheesiest songs to try like put my instrument in it so i've been listening to like one direction little mix so if that comes up in this that's, game that's the fun of it hold you up. know you'd yeah. be you'd be surprised some some of the stuff that comes up when you play this with people 
So what do I have to do? Just stick your Spotify on and go to, yeah, songs will be fine. Click on any one of them. I have to go to my songs? Just any, just any one of them. Yeah. And then just click shuffle play and it'll do it. And then I will ask you what How the song do I do is shuff oh, and shuffle why. Play. It's just got a button. Okay, yeah. What the song is and why it's on there. Drake. Why is that on there? Yeah. Um, I wanted to hear his new album, so I downloaded it. And there's some iTunes on there. Yeah? yeah what, is this one of your favourites or is this a... Um, I don't actually know them all. So I can't really say. So listen to it, but it's this is like I'm really I like listening to an album start to finish. I yeah. hate just like dropping in listening to tunes. So when I listen to the album, I'm like, oh, it's a good album or it's a bad album. Yeah. And if there's like a standout song, I listen to that. This yeah. one, obviously, wasn't standout, but it's still cool, I guess. Nice. Try the next one. Eric Badu, can't use my phone. This is just a skit. I'm really hoping something really embarrassing comes up. I know that's I think really, I'm, I really think mean. I'm, I think I'm safe, to be honest. I think I'm kind of alright. So what's what's this, this one? Um, Eric could do her mixtape yeah. about the phones. Um, it's just a wicked mixtape. And is it all sort of like samples from phones? And yeah, it's all about phones. It's a bit weird. Is it what like what's the sort? Of, is is there like a story? Or is it literally just about phones? I think what happened is that she did that um, hotline bling yeah. remix of Drake, yeah. and then that like kicked off. And so she's and just she was just like, let's do a fucking mixtape about phones. And Fair. But it's a good mixtape, you heard it? No, I don't, I don't think I've come across it. Yeah, there's some it. tunes on there, actually. Hmm. Definitely. What's going on with the next one? I think we'll do it fine, but this is, this is fun. Chance the Rapper, Somewhere in Paradise. What? Yeah, I mean, Chance the Rapper's not really on Spotify, so mm. there's not that much you can do. But I love Chance, but I don't... Like the song that much. So it's, just, it's just there. It's the one on Spotify. No, it's a good tune, but he's got a better thing. Yeah. And how do I go back? Uh, just flip it again. Ooh, Donny Hathaway. Nice. Yeah, he's like vocal inspiration, like amazing. Like, probably one of the best vocalists. So. Is there, any, is, there a, like, is there anything you took from him specifically that you'd say has influenced you? Um, honestly, like, no, not really. I think just because I've only recently, like I'd say in the past year, like really got into him. Yeah. So I was kind of learning a lot of singing way before I kind of discovered him. But now that I've discovered him, like he's on another level. You can't yeah. really, like, I don't ever put myself in being able to sing the kind of shit he does. He's agreeing with you. But. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so what is on your like most listened to kind of what what things are you listening to a lot? Um, now, I don't know how you find out, but I have listened to that Drake album quite a lot. Yeah. Apart from One Direction, Little I Mix, I mean they're up there. Um, no, it is Big Chance the Rapper. I listen to a lot of him, mm. um, mainly because like the blend of stuff that he does, like cross genre stuff, is interesting for me from a production perspective because. Mm. Um, He's defo, the way that he produced their records, like they've got like live drums and also sample drums, and I'm kind of coming into that. I don't know always whether to use live drums, sample drums. I don't want to be too hip hop, I don't yeah. want to be too overproduced, I want to be live, but you still want it to sound big. So, yeah. from production aspect, Chance is wicked. Um, I've been listening to loads of like Farrah Sanders and Eddie Harris, which is like, um, I don't know how to describe it, like, I think it's like called Free Jazz. Mm. But I just discovered that that's like really like soothes me, like calming. Yeah. If I get stressed or like nervous or whatever, then jazz I put on it. like just some mad jazz and it just trips background. you out for a bit. Yeah. Just um, chill out. Other than that, Eddie Hazel, he's like guitar, you know, funkadelic yeah. guitarist and that. Like he's fucking sick. S essentially, like reminds me of Jimi Hendrix and like Jimi Hendrix is the first person that got yeah, me into music. Yeah, I remember you saying last time. Yeah. Um, but that's, yeah. That was good. Um, so, sort of bumpy transition through, but um, with songs and stuff, obviously they have individual stories behind <coughs> them and things that you want to sort of say with them. With Running Away, because obviously that's your most sort of recent release, yeah, what, yeah. what was the sort of story that you were going um, for? The story was, like, it was, I mean, it's kind of, it was inspired by one person in particular, but then you kind of relate that situation to everyone else. Mm. So I related it to myself, but it was someone that was uh, very scared or nervous to do a lot of things, like even the simplest things, like getting 
getting on the train or going to the shop to buy something would like really freak them out. And um, I was just saying that if you like run away from that problem, that's not going to get any better. Like in two years' time, you won't ever be able to, you know, you yeah. won't be able to get a train unless you like stand up to your fears. I know yeah. it's scary and shit, but just go there and get on the train, and eventually you'll be cool. Yeah. yeah. And so, I, and it's the same with my life. Like there's loads of stuff, especially when I was growing up. Like things like I had dyslexia, still do. <laughs> and um, when I was doing like theatre studies, I used to like freak out about reading the mm. scripts out loud. So, uh, and I always used to like skive the lessons anytime I had to do any reading. Or well, you know when like they have the book? Yeah, and they make you And they, they make you like, yeah, read it. I used to fucking freak <laughs> out. And like 10 people before, I'd like try to figure out which one's my line to, to learn read it. And then like not pick up the story at yeah. all and just like nail my lines. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if I had them, I used to like, you know, skive the lessons and stuff. But then like now, I'm not, I'm not any better for it. Do you know what I mean? Like if someone yeah. asked me to spot read now, I'd probably do the same shit. So it's like you have to kind of stand up to things that yeah. aren't easy um, so that because later on in life they, you know they're still going to be there yeah, exactly. you're still going to be a shit reader unless you read <laughs> right yeah exactly so it's exactly. kind of like yeah have you because I remember last time you were saying about <coughs> how you didn't get s certain roles because you couldn't do that like what have you ever have you ever been up because we had we had a musical theatre company do Joseph recently I think it was oh, last yeah. night it opened and it, that made me sort of think have you ever auditioned for anything um I definitely did in my early days, yeah. I can't remember what we did. I tried to, I really wanted to be in Bugsy Malone. Oh, I love that. That was like my favourite play, like, oh. I thought it was so sick, but I never, I never auditioned in it because I was scared. Did you never get in there as Toledo or something? To, no, I wanted to be Fizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Sweet. Oh. His song, like, Tomorrow, whatever yeah. it was, was sick. And then, like, the dude as well that I, like, wasn't particularly, like, best mates with at school had a bit of a rival if he got the part. Oh. And I was there sitting and watching doing physio. I was like, you little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wallowing. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Who did you play in the Nativity? Did you have a part in the Nativity? I was Angel Gabriel. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, which is cool. I hated it at the time. Yeah, I thought, like, who wants to be does. Angel I don't even know if I've got any lines. He's like, it's a fucking they star. Just, they just yeah. make the kids stand on stage and then usher them off towards the end. Yeah. Like, okay, you've done your bit. You can fucking stand. Up. And Greece, I did that. I got to be do some cool moves. Who were you playing Greece? I don't know if it was like a actual uh, bald characters. I think it was just an adaptation of mm. Greece. Yeah. But I don't know. I was wearing the jackets and stuff. Nice. Did yeah. you have the the writing on the back as well? The team does. We didn't go that far, oh. but we should have done. Definitely. Didn't go all out. No. Damn it. Sucks. We're on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're obviously not on a budget for your music now. Have you got any more like stuff coming out? Have you got an album or anything to explain? Yeah, the album's in the mix at the moment. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, yeah. but I'm kind of finishing it. It's about eighty percent done. Okay. So hopefully, it'll be out this year. If not, no stress. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, let's just sort of chill out. Are you planning on doing anything to sort of chill out, or you know, um, anything planned for the summer? Generic question. Slip that one in. No, it's a good question. It's a good question. <laughs> I just haven't thought about it. I think because like this summer, I guess, is quite busy for me. Mm. In terms of, I've got to finish up a lot of stuff with the album, and then you do the festivals and stuff, but. I kind of don't, like my chill time's just with my mates, mm. drinking or yeah. going to a festival and stuff like that, but because I usually get pretty hammered, it's uh, the next couple of days, it's yeah. like a write-off, write so yeah. you can't, like if you have like They're one night serious. out, it's like four days or like five days out, so it doesn't yeah. really work. No, I think everyone in this room probably knows that feeling, yeah, sure, yeah, totally. <laughs> all students, yeah, so I think the final thing I'm going to ask you is if you could say, you know, one thing to the world, what you know, one thing to the world to teach them something. If you know what, because on, on on topic for my single, I'd say don't run away from shit that you're scared of. Nice. I'd say just go for it. Yeah. Don't be scared to live your life as well. A lot of times, like when you're scared to do something, yeah, you run away. Mm -hmm. It's actually exciting, I think. Yeah, to dive doing scary shit. Nice. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Music from you.